morning. So what time did you get back last night? Can't remember. Half one. Oh, as early as that. Hi. Thank God, Julie, where are you at work? Almost. I have to see you. Well, what's happened? I've not have fun. But something has. Yeah. I found out what it was that Stephen wanted to tell me. What about Rebecca and that truth teller business? To do with that, yeah, but I have to see you. Well, I'm working a full day. I'll call you. Right, but as soon as you can, Julie, this is important. Okay, bye. Bye. She just will not leave it alone. What? My sister now thinks she knows what Stephen was going to tell her. Quite how, we don't know. Maybe he appeared in a dream. Tell her about what? How should I know? Rebecca. Well, what would Stephen know about Rebecca? Well, nothing. But Carol has this obsession, and now apparently he's told her, and she can't wait to tell me. Mm. I think she expected me to go rushing over there. Well, sorry, but I do have a life to get on with. Come in. No, uh, we'd like you to come with us to the station. No, if you don't mind. Yeah, I do mind, actually. Yes, I do! I shall want my lawyer present. Fine. She was my secretary, that's it, nothing else. Did you fancy her? No. Attractive woman. Yeah, and I was happily married. Well, not anymore. I gather you and your wife are now living separately. Well, if we are, it's because of things that have happened since Rebecca's death. What things? Well, she, like you, wonders what might have been going on. Well, she thinks you were having an affair with Rebecca. And she thinks you killed her. And that's why she's kicked you out. Well, she might think that. She might think a lot of things. Is that why we're here? Because of what my wife thinks. There's just something I thought we should clear up about Stephen. I have to go out. You remember Stephen? Used to work for us. Now, unfortunately, deceased. I remember him, yeah. I gather you and him got quite pally. I thought he was sending me emails. You see, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but um, he was a funny fellow with Stephen. It was unreliable. He used to tell you things that weren't true. I had to have words with him more than once on account of he was spreading what you might call malicious rumours. Really? I just wonder whether it's these same malicious rumours that have reached your ears. About me and uh, Rebecca. I'll take that as a yes, shall I? Only, like I said to him, I wouldn't want anything like that to get around. To my wife, for instance, uh, or the police. And these rumours? Are they true? Yes. Yeah, Rebecca and I, we were close for a while, very close. You might say I loved her, worshipped her. Which is probably what she couldn't take. 
She was very cautious, was Becky. Always um, scared of risking anything. I bet you wish you hadn't asked me that now. It means we have a secret, doesn't it? I'd like to think it's going to stay a secret. I mean, dead now, isn't she? So, um, it's all over whether I, I want it to be or not. Trevor, I, I don't know what you want me to say. Do you know what my life is like? Married to your sister, working for your husband, always having to toe the line, be satisfied with being a, a hanger-on around the place. Do you have the slightest idea? It's personal. And then Rebecca turned up and just for a while I was centre stage. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I'm sorry. So am I. So that's going to be our secret, is it? Trevor, Rebecca was murdered. What, and you think I did it? No, I'm not saying You that. think I killed her? That I could ever have harmed a hair on her head? No. I loved her. Yeah. So then why would you want to tell anybody? Oh, no, I don't want to. It's just that she's been murdered and there's an investigation going on. Oh, and you want them to suspect me? Well, that's to save your husband, is it? You want to set me up <gasps> and end my marriage? Is this going to do that? And get me kicked out of a job? Is that what you want? No. I came because I thought you might understand. If I told the truth, you might understand and it might just stay between us, but... But no. Trevor, I'm sorry, but I don't want to continue this. You're gonna tell everybody, aren't you? Please, I just want you to leave. You're gonna tell everybody. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> you want me to tell him? Yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, Carol here rang me. What? Telling me how she's heard didn't something ring about you. me and Rebecca. Yeah, well, I have. They've been having an affair. They what? Well, apparently, Stephen's been sending messages from the grave. Oh, right. Look, uh, best if I leave you to it. Now you're going to tell him how you've been behaving. Been what? Threatening me, if not in words and in actions. Oh, come on. Yes, you were. Look, I, th I th think I'd better... Uh... Yeah, all right, see you later, yeah. I didn't ring him. He came here to warn me, to tell me I had to keep my mouth shut about him and Rebecca. Because Stephen spoke from the grave. And Stephen told Gareth, Gareth who does the parties for us here, and Gareth told me. I see, yeah. And then Trevor just, just walked in. God knows what he would have done if you hadn't arrived. Why are you doing this? Why? Making these accusations. You don't believe me? OK. So what was Trevor doing here? Go on. What was he doing here? I imagine, like he said, you rang him. I didn't ring him. No. No! You know, I always used to think that I was the crazy one, you know? But now, Carol, it's like, what's happening? What are you on? You think I'm a murderer? Trevor's threatening you? Everybody's out to get you. It's all a conspiracy. For Christ's sake! Carol, get yourself! Oh, Trevor came here to warn you me. You said! You said! Look, do me a favour. Go and see a doctor. I did not ring Trevor. He came here of his own accord to threaten me and tell me I had to keep quiet. Oh, Carol. So who do you believe? Me or him? What, you or Trevor? Yes. Right now? Trevor. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. Trevor. Of having an affair with Rebecca? In his dreams. I've never known her like this. It's like she's taken leave of her senses. Well, she's always had you to rely on, hasn't she? Now you've gone, she's got nobody.
Hello? No one's gonna believe you. You know that. You know that, don't you? So, like I said, let's just keep it our secret, yeah? If you come round here again, I'm gonna call the police. I don't know why you want to be so hostile. So, how long before we can give our respective spouses the shock of their lives? Tell them about us. Well, Julie, I thought... You know, we should wait till this police thing is sorted out. Which is going to be how long? Anyway, why? Well, because I just don't want people thinking it's because of that. You're not going to let me down again. No. Well, then why do we have to wait? Let's tell them tomorrow. I tell Trevor, you tell Carol. At exactly the same time. I know she's your sister and you're going to be on her side, but I am telling you, she is losing it. She rang you? Yeah, and rambled on about me and Rebecca. <laughs> me and Rebecca. And then rings off. So I think, well, what do I do? Mark wasn't there and she sounded so peculiar that I thought, I cannot just leave this. So I tried ringing again, I got no answer and I went round. And? Well, as luck would have it, Mark turned up. I passed her on to him and got the hell out of it. Yeah, but why was she saying? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> Except, I'll tell you what I think. Deep down, she still thinks it was Mark who killed Rebecca. Yeah? I suppose. But she's trying not to. So she's casting around, trying to think, who else is this she can pin it on? Me. I'm straw. Well, I've tried to be understanding. She's having a hard time, but there is a limit. I am not having her going around broadcasting something like that. So if she tells you, which she's going to, I hope you'll put her straight. Yeah? Yeah. I know she's your sister. I will. No. Thank you. I think I probably know what it is you're going to tell me. You mean Trevor's warned you? Can I suggest something which you probably won't like? I just think 
You should take a break and get away from all this. I'm not going mad. Okay. And just Nobody's... for the record, I did not phone Trevor up and start accusing him or whatever it is he said. He came here to that door. He just walked straight in and started threatening me. With what? Well, nothing specific. It was his manner, the way he was talking. And why was he threatening you? Because I'd found out something about him and he knew I had and he didn't want me to tell anybody else. Something about him? Well, I assume he's told you this as well. He was seeing Rebecca. And you heard all this from Stephen? He has told you. Even though Stephen's dead? No, no, it was a friend of Stephen's, someone and, I know at college. And you believe it, even though it's aimed at your own brother-in-law? Even though it's patently ridiculous? I believe it because Trevor admitted it. <laughs> what, he just... Yes. Admitted he was having an affair? Yes. <laughs> and so did Trevor kill Rebecca? Is that the idea now? No, I'm not... Because I thought you were convinced it was Mark. I was never because convinced. Because Truth Teller told you. But now somebody else has told you something else. Anyway, it wasn't Truth Teller... Sorry, I'm getting confused. Yes, I thought it oh, was. Oh, come on, Carol. You've got to choose. Either Mark killed Rebecca, which is what Truth Teller is saying, or Trevor did, which I think you're trying to tell me is what Stephen is saying via some, I don't know, some medium. I said a friend. Whoever. And you expect me to believe this load of bullshit. And how long's it going to be before you come up with the next one? decided anything, did we? That you'll tell Carol and I'll tell Trevor. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna get some things together. I'm gonna be there waiting for him and I'm gonna tell him. Look, Julie, can't we talk about this tonight? Well, then it'll be just like last time. And things will drag on and it'll all come to nothing. No, it won't. No, it won't. Look, when are you going home? Now. OK, well, why don't I see you there, yeah? Yes. Good. Go on out for a while. Why not? Make the most of the weather. Thank you. 
it's Julie. Truth tellers, your sister. Look. Why? Carol, listen. Julie's been trying to tempt me into having an affair. It's totally irrational. I genuinely think she's losing it. And this is obviously her way of trying to split us up. find all this what well what were you doing here well she called me this morning and said that she had to see me you know like she had to so I thought right I'll go around there and I'll talk some sense into her and when I got here she wasn't here so I did some exploring and uh... going on? Why don't you tell us? Julie, we know about Truth Teller. We know what you've been doing. And does she also know what we've been doing? Come on, Julie. Let's not make things difficult. Make things difficult? Carol and I have a lot to talk about. Yes, like the fact that you're leaving her. Have you told her that? That we're lovers? Julie, what are you talking about? You swore to me. I never swore anything. It's all in your imagination. I told you what she was like, and this proves it. You bastard. Yeah, fine. All right, Carol, let's go. No, you go. I want to talk to Julie. She's only going to tell you more lies. Mark, just go home, please. You rotten, cowardly bastard. Was it you sent those emails? Yes. Why? <sighs> to try and make something happen. To try and... Destroy my marriage? Yes, destroy your marriage. But I wasn't the only one that wanted that. It was what your husband wanted just as much as I did. I am not going to talk to you about Mark, OK? I'm talking about you, my sister. How could you do it? You make me think that he's having an affair with her, and then on top of all that, you make me think that he killed her. I was in love with him. <laughs> yes, I was, and he was in love with me. Or anyway, I thought he was. I thought he wanted to leave you. And you know why I thought that? Because he told me. He told me when we were in bed together. So the emails were a way of helping things along. Never mind what it did to me. You survived, haven't you? And we were going to tell you both today. But now your husband's chickened out, just like the coward he always was. Have you the slightest idea what you've done to us? Done to you, you mean? I will never forgive you for this. Never. We will forgive Mark. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah, perhaps it hasn't anymore, but I'm telling you, if he denies we were lovers or that he planned to leave you, then he's lying. Coffee on if you. 
I want the truth. I told you. Whatever it is, whatever you have to tell me, I don't care. I just can't handle any more lies. What did she say? Doesn't matter. Did she say I was going to leave you for her? I want to know what you're saying. I'm saying that I love you, Carol. I've always loved you. Julie was pursuing me. I was, it was embarrassing. Have you slept with her? No. She says you have. Well, she would. She wants to damage us. The emails prove that. She will say and she will do anything to damage us. So you haven't? No. Remember all that stuff that you thought about me and Rebecca? All those suspicions that wouldn't go away and very nearly destroyed our marriage. Let's not go down that road again, Carol. You've got to believe me this time. What was Mark doing here anyway? No idea. Ask him. And it was you who sent the emails? Yeah. I was truth teller. Why? Why, for Christ's sake? I'm surprised you have to ask. Of course I have to bloody well ask. I did it because I wanted to make them suffer. Don't look at me like that, you want the same. I do. Yeah, I've heard you going on about how you hate him because he's your boss and because he treats you like shit and acts like it's only his life that's important. And you hate her because she's had everything on a plate and doesn't know it because she's so pleased with herself, with her beautiful home, her family, the boys. <sighs> and the way everybody thinks she's so wonderful. They're both so bloody pleased with themselves. That's why I did it. I did it to spoil everything. Well, I'd say you'd succeeded. What I still don't understand is why you never told me that Julie was behaving that way. I don't understand. Well, you're sisters. I didn't want anything to come between you. And anyway, there was always a lot of drink about Carol. I think she needs help. I think she needs help with Trevor. When you came in and he was here... And I didn't believe you. Yeah. He really... He really was very threatening. And he admitted to having an affair with Rebecca. He actually admitted it. Have you told the police? No, not yet. I think he should. But this, between me and Julie, it's, it was all in her head, Carol. I swear. You believe me, don't you? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Do you want something to eat, or are you going to spend all night drinking? Do you know what you've done? Do you have the slightest idea? What I've done? With your emails. Mm. Truth teller. Except you weren't telling the truth, were you? Not one word of it. I thought we'd had all this. All that about Mark and Rebecca was... <laughs> Pack of lies, wasn't it? That was the point, though. It was a pack of lies. But do you know who believed it? I said, do you know? Carol. But who else? Who else believed it? 
Me. You. I believed it. I believed that Mark was getting it on with Rebecca. I believed, truth teller. Well, sorry. Which is why I went to see her. See Rebecca. To ask her was that why she'd kicked me into touch? So that she could have the boss. Of course she denied it. Of course she did. Because it wasn't true, was it? Only I'd heard it from Truth Teller, so I thought she was lying. You killed her. Thanks to you and your lies, I killed her. Yeah. All because I believed your nasty little emails. Everything you've done to me, everything you have made me suffer, you drove me to kill the one person I ever loved. And if that wasn't enough... What? Stephen knew about me and Becky. So I went to see him. Took him a bottle of vodka. He had some pills there. I made sure he took plenty of both. And then I left him. So you see now what it is you've done. Hmm? You see Stay now. Stay away from just me. Just what it is you've done. Get off me, Trevor. Your lies made me do this. I didn't know. No, you do now, though, don't you? Hmm? Get off me. So what's left? Hmm? You and me together, hating each other for the rest of our lives. When I think how close we came to losing all this. Must have been crazy. You mean I was? It's gonna be all right. The holiday will help. Be like a second honeymoon.
just met him. We were still at home then. She came to my room, she was all excited. She said, I've met this boy. <laughs> He's really clever and funny. Makes me laugh. <laughs> and I said, I've met a boy too. <laughs> to be back together the way it was. And now it is. It's all I ever wanted. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> More than you. We've got work to do. I 
I know you're sorry. Thank you.